I'm Ayla Fife, I'm a Scottish folk singer, and this is my take on demystifying digital. I've been singing since I was really young and I think I made a Facebook page when I was 16 and since then I've just added to the list of social media accounts to update almost every week. I use Facebook, YouTube, a mailing list, WordPress, website blog feature, bands in town, even band camp community to be in contact with people. Twitter, Instagram, I pretty much use every social media um, channel or network available. I use loads of different ways because I know that as a folk musician, your audience definitely spans generations. And as a singer, my audience certainly is a little bit older than an average kind of musician's audience. And some of them are certainly, you know, maybe on Facebook. So I use Facebook groups to promote stuff as well. Um, but ultimately, I love using Twitter. I feel that it's really easy to update it several times per day and people won't get sick of you. Whereas if I updated several times a day um, with my hot takes on Facebook, then I think people would be um, unfollowing me really, really quickly. A lot of the social media channels are really different in essence, but they all work with photos really well. Some work with links really well, some do not work with links at all. Some social media networks allow something to go viral without you know, placing ads and spending money on it. Some don't, but ultimately I think the thing that's the most important to me is building up a mailing list so that I know that when I send, send, um, it's actually gonna go to someone's email inbox and I'm not gonna have to pay for further digital marketing for it to actually go on someone's feed. So I've used MailChimp over the years and you know you can get 2,000 contacts for free and then after that, you have to pay a monthly charge, which is really worth it because if you think about it, these are the people that you can, you can track the clicks, you can see where they're coming from, you can see what they are responding to. And often when I make a, a mail out, you know, I'll have a lot of links, some videos, some kind of text, maybe some sort of chatty, conversational thing. And I speak as if it's a letter to someone. It's not just, I was doing this in the third person. It's, hi, how are you getting on? Um, I've been doing this, it's been really busy. It's chatty and it's conversational because ultimately I think that people want an insight into who you are as a person and your own life. Um, as opposed to um, you speaking about yourself in the third person all the time. Something that's only an offer to people if you've got over 1,000 subscribers on YouTube is a thing called YouTube Community. And it's almost as if posting uh, a post on a YouTube wall, um, your timeline, I guess, and you can add links or photos or whatever. It can be long form, short form, and it's up there at all times. And I guess for maybe the older generation, who perhaps don't use Instagram, um, they maybe find themselves down a rabbit hole on YouTube and they've just came across your channel. It's it's really cool that you can you can post um, a long form post with a with a photo on it as well. I like that. Ultimately, I would want to make sure my website is updated all the time. I use WordPress, which is really user friendly, and it means you can update it all the time and add to a kind of news section um, and I link to everything else. It's really friendly with embedding Spotify links and Bandcamp links and other things. But ultimately, a website is where some, some people will go, perhaps of the older demograph, they'll go straight to a website because that's where they feel comfortable and familiar with. I would say that a fifth of the stuff that I post is actually about music. And I think that that is good because if it's always just music, 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 call to action, call to action, please do this, please do this, please sign up to this, please do this. I think that people get a little bit bored. People want to see what you're up to, where you go, where you hang out, who you hang out with, also what you believe in, what your causes are, who you care about, what you care about. You know, even if you're going to the post box to deliver a vote, that's interesting. A time where I've had success um, using social media to enact change um, was using Twitter and Instagram and Facebook in the Urvice campaign for a Scots Pledge. 
A Scots pledge was a pledge that we asked candidates in the 2021 um, Scottish election to sign in order to pledge that they were going to protect um, the interests of Scots speakers and by extension Scots folk singers um, by um, basically changing policy in the government to protect, promote and fund Scots language and cultural activities within the language which extends to music. So using things like Twitter, more so Twitter, to put pressure on candidates and use a hashtag Scots Pledge to ask them to sign up was really handy because we basically had direct action. We could tweet at them and they would see it. And I found that was useful because the more hashtags happened, the more likelihood that a candidate was going to sign it and then share it. We also used infographics, whether that be uh, Instagram stories or Twitter um, photos in a kind of horizontal dimension and asked them to share that as well. And I find that that campaign was very successful in getting the public on board, but also getting candidates who was our target audience on board too. And although that's not a musical endeavour, it's still a way that we can utilise social media to kind of um, raise awareness on something. I think my top tip to any folk musician on social media is to share who you are as a person as well as your music. Ultimately, people want insight to who you are because they're going to buy into you and uh, your branding and your brand should be reliable and consistent. And for me, that means consistent messaging on, you know, what sort of songs I do, what I do with my spare time, um, what things I believe in. Be true to who you are as a musician and not try and change anything for your socials or try and put on ears and races. I think people just like to um, be told the truth um, and not, not lie to you or anything, but um, just have insight to your life and feel like they are gaining something from following you. They're gaining better understanding of you or better understanding of where your music comes from. Um, I think that that's why people want to follow people on social media because they want understanding and knowledge or they're just nosy.